Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing sort of a live reaction. Just got a chance to check out the brand new released uh, first trailer for Dragon Ball F, the next upcoming Dragon Ball Z movie, uh, which of course is going to be featuring the resurrection of Frieza. Frieza! I'll put the link to the trailer in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out. And, uh, you know, wow. I mean, you know, after, <laughs> okay, I, I here's what I'll say right off the bat. It, it raises a lot of questions. There's a lot of things we're wondering right now. But we're going to have to wait to see the actual movie first before we understand everything. Now, how are they going to have it make sense? Why are things happening the way they are? For example, uh, some of the questions, of, of course, right off the bat is how is Frieza strong enough to even... Uh, remote be remotely close to a threat for the Z fighters because obviously Goku's a god now you know you've got Gohan and in the trailer he's turning SSJ which you know why you know, because of course he should be mystic and you know you have Vegeta and you know all these different you know at, at this point probably like Tien and Yamcha should be strong enough to to give Frieza a good fight you know or, or beat him <laughs> you know Piccolo by himself should be able to one shot him you know like like how does it how does it make sense, right? So, um, you know, how are they going to bring Frieza back to life, have it make sense, and why are all these characters fighting in the forms in which they're fighting? So, you know, especially Goku with him being a Saiyan God now, why is he just fighting with straight up, you know, regular mode, you know, no power-ups, nothing. Um, so, yeah, it raises some questions, but to be honest with you, I don't care. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, I just hope they have it make sense. You know, I hope that they are able to explain it in some kind of way to where it makes sense. Maybe if Goku becomes a Saiyan God, you know, to even out, like I've talked about this before in my uh, thoughts when they first announced it, maybe if they can do some kind of yin and yang type energy, you know, uh, explanation for it, where if you have a Saiyan God who is, you know, basically Goku being so good, you're you're giving, you know, certain kind of power to kind of the the, the, the yin side of things, you know, the, 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 the good side of things, then, you know, for the universe to even that out, evil must also have, you know, the same kind of power up this type of this type of thinking so that's that I think makes sense that's probably the most sensical theory I've I've come up with yet <laughs> so far uh, for a sensible uh, theory that, that I've come up with so far that would make sense for Frieza to be strong enough to mess with Goku and the others but it still doesn't explain why Goku's fighting in normal mode um, and, and seem to be under such distress against Frieza uh, unless Frieza has found a way to neutralize their strength or do something of the sort or make it an even playing field which uh, I just don't know you know I, I have no idea how that could happen so um, yeah it raises some questions but you know we'll just have to wait and see the actual movie to before we understand it. I just hope they explain it all. Like, I hope it all makes sense to the point where we're not like sitting there thinking like, this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense, none of this makes sense. I hope they take it seriously and they provide us with a good explanation for the things they're doing because, you know, a lot of the audience are gonna be adults. You know, they shouldn't just treat it like this is a kid's show, like Pokemon or something, or not Not the Pokemon's only for kids. Don't get, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. But I, I don't think they should, um, you know, just kind of gear it towards kids so that none of it makes sense, you know, because I know a lot of the people that watch DBZ are like myself, are starting to get older and stuff. We still love DBZ. I still have Goku on my, uh, on my desk ready to go should, you know, <laughs> should, should the opportunity arise uh, for him to fight evil, um, which obviously it has in this one. Um, but yeah, so I hope, I hope it all makes sense. I hope they're able to work it out so that it does, it does all fit. And, um, you know, aside from that, and aside from the problems that may arise in terms of story, it looks gorgeous. I mean, it looks, well, check it out. It looks beautiful. You know, uh, also the laugh, uh, the Frieza's laugh. I, I got goosebumps when I saw that. And also Goku, when he's firing off the Kamehameha, he's uh, shouting Frieza. Uh, just, just awesome. So I can't wait until we get the subtitle version here in North America. I can't wait until we know more about it, until we get to see more. And as my initial live, uh, you know, sort of reaction after just seeing it, I'm stoked, as always. Can't get enough DBZ or DBF, I guess we should call it now. Um, you know, because Frieza is really, like, probably the most 
recognizable DB villain, I would say, between Cell and, you know, Boo and, and all the others. I think Frieza, for most people, he stands out as the most recognizable DBZ villain. So let me know what you guys think about it. What was your immediate reaction to it? What do you think about the, uh, the visuals? And uh, how do you think they're going to have it make sense? You know, that's what I want to hear the biggest thing from you guys. What are your theories? How does it make sense that uh, Frieza would be able to pose a threat to Earth, you know, and do some kind of invasion or something? How is he back to life? What are your theories? Let me hear what you guys think. Anyway, that's pretty much all i got to say for this one. If you guys like the video, please do me a solid. Please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. If you have a Facebook, please favorite it. And yeah, that's it for this one, guys. See you for the next uh, Dragon Ball-related topic once I get an idea. If you have any, send me, and I'll go ahead and do them because I pretty much covered everything I can think of so far. As always, it's Trev. Saying peace.